What is up guys? It's your boy Priestley, aka Poker Priest. Basically got the day started, hit the gym up, had my pre-workout. It's uh, 61 degrees here in fabulous Las Vegas. Also, Friday, January 18th. Gonna go home, edit the vlog from yesterday. And gonna figure out where we're gonna play. Boy, I can't keep you off my mind. I know it was just one time, but no one ever made me feel like you did that night. Press rewind just to live it again. You felt me touch me, I can't even pretend. Night I don't get back. There's one thing I hate. Driving down to the strip, so if there's any opportunity that I don't need to drive. I hate driving, so any chance that I get, I'm gonna take a ride with my roommate. Um, but that means that if I want to play a short session, if I want to play a long session, uh, I'm at the mercy of him. But it doesn't matter to me, I'm fine. Like, I want to record some stuff today. And we parked over at the Bellagio. I'm gonna go play a session over at the Planet Hollywood. Right over in yeah. Walking over from the Bellagio and headed over to Planet Hollywood to play some one, two, no limits. <laughs> Table's short, four-handed, so just waiting for the floor to see if we can get some seats. But we're up 60 bucks. He's king of diamonds, three bet, free flop. Just uh, three bet with good hands, and they're gonna call you 10 jack of diamonds. One second, I gotta cross this thing. All right, I made it. 3.50 a.m., leaving the planet Hollywood. It was a good session. Never was really down very much in a session. Maybe down like 50 bucks at one point. Stayed very patient throughout the entire session. I was up 60 bucks at that, at that one point when the game broke and we went to the other table and then Things got really slow, didn't catch anything, and then I was like dead, dead even. I was up like 10 bucks. Stayed solid, didn't play too many hands. And then back to back, picked up kings and ace king, and was able to capitalize on those. So I was up like 150. There's a couple hands that are just like standard where I'm gonna lose money, and then there were some hands where I found some extra value back at the Bellagio. So this hand, for example, got ace, eight of diamonds in the big blind or the small blind, big blind. And it gets raised in middle position to 15 bucks. There's one call in late position and I complete for 15 bucks. We're three ways to a flop of Four, eight, ten. So we flop middle pair. Flop goes check, check, check. Turn is another four. I check, and both opponents also check. And the river's a ten. So now, board is double paired. Uh, I think I can get a little value here out of just a pair of eights here because um, 
Although I have an ace, hopefully someone else has just like an ace high can call this down. So I bet $20 for a value. I got called by the original Razor, the other opponent folds, and we scoop that pot. I really wish the music wasn't as loud as it is right now here in the Bellagio Conservatory. I'll give you guys a tour on a different day when I play here. You know, I played at Planet Hollywood, so I'm, really, I'm not gonna really show you the, uh, the cool stuff that's going on at the Bellagio. So you're gonna have to subscribe to the channel and I'll show you some of this stuff in another vlog. Oh wow, they changed Cafe Bellagio into the Fidel's? I meant to eat here before before they changed. I heard they were changing. I didn't know they did it already. But if we can use my if I could use my Bellagio comps here, I've got like at least four hundred dollars worth of comps for the Bellagio. And we'll we'll eat here. I'll bring you here. Also, so again, subscribe, guys. Um. Anyways, all right. This hand, I think a lot of people would have played differently, but we looked down at pocket fours in the small blind. Under the gun limps for $2. Middle position raises to $17. Late position call, 17. On to me. Plenty of opportunity here to set mine if we hit a four. I call 17. Big blind call 17. Original uh, under the gun player also calls 17. So now we're five ways to the flop. It could have been six ways to the flop. I gotta check my um, the video again. And the flop comes five, six, seven with two hearts. So we flop an up, down, straight draw, bottom end of it. I check, big line checks, UTG checks, and then middle position bets out 30. Late position calls 30 on to me. We've got opportunity for a straight draw here, but it's on the low end of the straight. So if an eight comes, like what do we do, right? Because someone could have a nine, could have nine, 10. Reverse implied odds. So what do we do? You already said already no. You guys have, you guys are subscribers to the channel. I pulled it. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good fold in the long run. So I fold, big blind calls, and under the gun calls. So there are four ways to a turn, which is the three of hearts. I'm like, man, the only card that we could really hope for was a three to give us a decent chance to win this pot. And it comes, and it's three of hearts. It would have given us up and down straight flush draw as well. Or just like a four high flush if like another weird heart comes on the river and then we can't play anyways. I forget what the river was, but uh, the river's right here. The player in late position had pocket queens. Uh, the under the gun player had pocket eights. Middle position didn't call and we would have we won that pot. It would have been a big pot and we would have been up a good amount for the night. But we made a good fold. I stand by it. Even though if we were to be results oriented, we would have won that pot, but Nick's that guys, yo. Only good play from here on out. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. I appreciate it. Um, if you like the content, hit that like button. More, more vlogs, I'm saying it now because I'm actually doing it. So hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys later, peace. My boy's still playing, so I'm gonna get some appetizers as snacks.